Molevnaka, my name is Amen Mbanobe. It's my pleasure today to share with you my knowledge on the production of quality seeds following the standard operating procedure. In this standard operating procedure, the first process involves your planning. It is very, very important that you carry out a good uh, site selection uh, in the field in which you determine uh, the place you are going to set up your seed block. Keeping in mind uh, that uh, while doing your planning, that you should source your agro inputs, ensure that uh, every, all the agro inputs are in place, and uh, also ensure that uh, your soil is tested. Uh, this will assist you in determining the ty type of fertilizer that you are going to add onto your field. Uh, part of uh, this uh, planning process is the procurement of your foundation seeds. Foundation seeds, these are very important uh, in the standard operating procedure because they are the true to type seeds. They show the true characteristic of that particular variety that you are trying to establish. So you can source your foundation seeds from your local research stations and uh, once you have your foundation seed, we'll move on into the next step is on the raising of our seedlings. Please ensure that you have a raised seed bed. Uh, where you will going to raise your seeds and the uh, seeds are sown thinly uh, onto your seed bed uh, uh, while uh, the seeds are growing sure that they are watered frequently and also you can carry out your pest and disease control right there on the seed bed in case you don't have a seed bed provided you can do your uh, you can use a, a potting trace uh, for raising your, your seedlings while uh, you are raising your seedlings, in the meantime, you can carry on with uh, an important step also in the standard operating procedure is on the land preparation. It is recommended that we do two plowing and two harrowing. So after the first plowing and harrowing, uh, normally we apply poultry manure into the field and then followed by the second plowing and harrowing. After which the, uh, the best soil tilt will be provided for transplanting your seedlings. So next in this standard operating procedure is on the transplanting of your seedlings. You can transplant your seedlings late in the afternoon or if the weather is cloudy, you can go ahead with the transplanting of those seedlings. And uh, while transplanting your crops into the field, please ensure that they are planted at the correct spacing. For example, for tomato and chilies, the correct spacing would be around one meter between rows and 50 centimeters between plants. And part of the transplanting is the agronomic practices that need to be followed. This involves the use of fertilizers. NPK at the rate of 200 kg per hectare is applied during planting. And this is followed by the use of urea fertilizer, the recommended rate of 100 kg per hectare in speed application, especially after four to five weeks after planting. Ensure that you also visit your fields occasionally to check on the soil uh, and also ensure that irrigation is carried out when required. An important phase in the standard operating procedure is the, the isolation distance of your seed bed. Please ensure that your seed bed is far away from the next crop variety of the same plant. For example, for tomato, that your seed bed should be 60 meters away from the next uh, tomato variety. This is to prevent cross-pollination, since the crop that you're establishing on your field is an open pollinated variety. While the crops are growing out there in the field, ensure that you carry out your management practices, like the pest and disease control. Please ensure that you check on the pest level occasionally, so that you can carry out your pest and disease control measures. Uh, an important part in uh, the standard operating procedure too is on the, the rogging and selection. Rogging is the removal of disease plants from the field or those that don't show the true characteristic of uh, the plant or the seed that you're trying to produce. So once they are removed, you have your well-established crop out there in the field. The important thing is to maintain them in the field with good management practices. So the crops will sow that they are ready for the harvest when they reach physiological maturity. A good example is eggplant. Once the color of the fruit changes yellowish, 
that's a good indication that the seeds inside these fruits have matured and that they are ready for seed extraction.